What is up, everybody? To a first here today, and we're gonna talk about this Nintendo and Yuzu lawsuit. Nintendo has sued Yuzu, the emulator for the emulator people mostly use for like Nintendo games, mostly the, the newest of the Switch games as well. They have been sued for over two million dollars, and they have to pay Nintendo <laughs> to settle the lawsuit against them. And I and and they are shutting down that service. They just made an announcement statement saying, "Hey, hello, users, Yuzu." Users is where it's saying users is where we're saying it. And Citra fans, it writes today to inform you that user and user support of Citra are being discontinued effective immediately. So they're that's done with. Yuzu in the team has always been against piracy. You know, they say that, but then again, it's like remember I see, remember I see people talk about Yuzu, they're talking about like showing off these brand new Switch games, which is like still in stores. People say it's not piracy, but it's like you're definitely treading that line, and that's probably why I got shut down. They got a, they got sued. They got to pay Nintendo over two million dollars at this point because, yeah, it's because people are using just still newer games that they don't own. So let's be honest here. Uh, so yeah, this thing is dead. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what Citra, Citra is. This other thing is referred to in this, but that's gone too apparently. So yeah, I mean. I don't really care regardless because I always buy Nintendo games. <laughs> I don't use an emulator. I just buy the games on the Switch. It's like, it's just like, it's, it's not, I'm not going to make things more difficult than it is. It's like, I have no problem buying their games. Got good quality stuff on the system. But a lot of people hurt over this decision. A lot of people are not okay, not happy about this. Um, so, yeah, let's see what we got to say about this. Nintendo explained that 3DS emulation harms them when they haven't manufactured or sold the consoles for years and they don't let you buy the games anymore. That is true, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He does have a point there. Like, they want you, if they want you actually physically buy the 3DS games and you want to get from emulation, I don't know. Not that you're going down too. 3DS preservation is effing dead. I mean, you can still buy the games on eBay, but they're going to be extremely expensive, though. I, I do agree. Like, if Nintendo's going to be this hardcore against shutting these, these emulators, the Yuzu and the Citra down, then they need to have, like, an equivalent 3DS shop where you can actually buy these games. Like, why can't you not buy 3DS games on your Switch? Like, it can't be that hard to emulate the stuff make, so people can buy it, like... Nintendo explaining why shutting down the biggest 3DS emulator while not manufacturing any more consoles is a good idea. Yeah, I don't get it. Nintendo had to use an emulator to play Kid Icarus Uprising, a game that you can't even buy from them anymore. But then again, like let's like I said, be, let's be honest here. People weren't talking about using Yuzu for no 3DS games. Each time I saw Yuzu being brought up, it's about playing the, the Nintendo Switch games. So like. People are like, come on, let's be honest here. Let's, let's, let's not beat around the bush here. People are using us to pirate Switch games. Nintendo have shut down emulators that are based on the only way to access their old games was a job. I mean, people are mad at Nintendo, but it is their stuff you're accessing, so, yeah. I know if I was running Nintendo, I want people to access my stuff for free and not paying me a dime for it, so, I, mean, I don't blame them. You can feel the gun pressed to their heads writing this. Uh, that gun is supposed to be a metaphor for that two million, and sure. <laughs> Part of growing up is coming to terms with the fact that Nintendo is a horrible, awful company. As he has a, it does like Rob the Robot as a mascot, as an avatar right there. Like this, you hate Nintendo, but you have Nintendo as an avatar. Like really. This isn't a color beside day for emulation. Nintendo has done a massive blow to the scene yet again. I'm curious what people say to this. Um, maybe they shouldn't have been allowing piracy of Switch games and this wouldn't have happened. Not sure if people think Nintendo would be okay with it happening with their products. <laughs> the only rational person, like, why would Nintendo be okay with that? Like, you can, you see people, like, playing Switch games before they actually physically release for the actual want to support the Switch system can even play it so they had to shut that thing down like it was a no brainer at that point because piracy is what killed the, the PS Vita which people wanted that greatly damaged the PSP piracy killed the Dreamcast piracy has killed a few systems so far so I was like 
I, I don't I don't see I don't see the problem with them taking that that threat away. So it is what it is. People want to talk about the whole you can you can't pirate through you can't emulate 3ds games. That's that's the people are using the pirate switch games. <clears throat> Buy your games, people. Why do people say that to us? <laughs> you can emulate the games you buy. Lewis person says he, he prefers Yuzu so he can play Tears of the Kingdom at 4K60 on PC. Uh... I don't think that's the norm, though. I think the norm was that people were just pirating these games who didn't own these games on the Switch. They had no intention of buying these games. Like, we're not gonna like. Just, like, I just hate this whole like um, gaslighting. Like, we know we know what the vast majority of people are doing with these with these emulators. Like, let's not get off here. Like, people are using it to download the new stuff, not the not the old stuff. So yeah, the people who are using user services are pissed off about this. I mean, I guess. But at the end of the day, if you want to play their at least Switch stuff, you might not get to buy the games on a Switch. 3DS stuff, I mean, I guess that was a done deal. If you want to play those games, you got to buy the games physical or whatever. So it is what it is. It didn't really affect me because I don't care about playing 3DS games really. I have a 3DS. I haven't touched a thing in over a year. Over a year. A few years at this point, so... Doesn't really, I don't really care about this, but this is the biggest news so far. Uh, people are kind of angry with this. They're raging at Nintendo right now because they actually have to buy the games from Nintendo, which is kind of funny. But yeah, definitely see your thoughts down below about this. Did you use the Yuzu emulator to, to play 3DS games or preserve 3DS games, or are you just or or are they or do you think they're justified because people were pirating Switch games? Let me know your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like, like this video, and it's always thanks for watching, and peace.